attempt to buy our frigates time to make repairs. And then you'll charge off again, like last time. This is different, Ron. Unless we give our ships time to rest, we're gonna lose them. So pull them back. If I withdraw now, the Geth will flank us, and we'll lose any room to maneuver. I need the patrol fleet. I gave in to your reckless behavior before. The patrol fleet isn't moving. We need to break their flanking attempt to buy our frigates time to make repairs. And then you'll charge off again, like last time. This is different, Ron. Unless we give our ships time to rest, we're gonna lose them. So pull them back. If I withdraw now, the Geth will flank us, and we'll lose any room to maneuver. I need the patrol fleet. I gave in to your reckless behavior before. The patrol fleet isn't moving. Throwing more ships into that mess just puts more lives at risk, Admiral Garrel. Fine. I'll pull back the heavy fleet. And when we're taking fire from both sides, those deaths are on your heads. Thank you, Commander. It's difficult to keep him in line. I'm ready to hit the Reaper base whenever you are, Shepard. Talk to you later, Tally. Sure. Shepard Commander, we have re-established a connection with Gath liberated from the server. What's their status? We have integrated their programs into this platform's network with minimal difficulties. Your actions have changed their perspective on organics. They also offer gratitude. What was interfacing with the Reaper like? The old machine took total control of our sensory equipment, our networking. Even then, we could not fully comprehend them. They are magnitudes above us. A single thought was immense, overwhelming, unknowable. You're making them sound godlike. Their forms are advanced but mundane. We do not view the old machines as analogs to deities. However, we have gained perspective on why others would imbue them with these qualities. The Geth have fought the Quarians before. What made this different? The Geth were building a megastructure to house all Geth, store all memories. It was to end our isolation from each other. And the Quarian flotilla attacked it? Yes. A significant amount of programs were installed when creators began bombing. We did not have sufficient surplus hardware to save them all. Some programs could not be recovered. Is that what made the Geth desperate enough to work for the Reapers? Yes. Imagine that for every one of your people lost on Earth, your own intelligence dimmed. The Creator's attack narrowed the Geth's perspective. Self-preservation took precedence. You were afraid you'd be wiped out. We do not experience fear as you would, but we have no desire to be exterminated. Even if the Reapers cost the Geth free will? That is evidently an acceptable trade. What did you do after you left the Normandy? Our physical platform returned to the Geth consensus beyond the Perseus Vale. Data gathered during our mission confirmed that the old machine's return was imminent. We planned for war. So the Geth believed your proof that the Reapers were coming back? Of course. That must have been nice. We'll talk later. We will remain here. Man, 
watching the Geth fleet move. It's like thousands of stun flyers in formation. Creepy stun flyers. Whose ships look like some sort of cockroach wasp thing. So you went into the Geth consensus? Like virtual reality? Yeah, it was strange, but I got out all right. Did you? I mean, how would you know? How would I know what? If you really got out. See, if the Geth experience everything virtually, then you could only think you're in the real world. What if this, like everything you're seeing now, is a simulation? Commander? Shepard, you are now possibly the only living organic who has experienced the Geth consensus. Do you feel different? It was fascinating. Mind-blowing. And I'm also a bit thirsty. And just like that, the magic is gone. Did you just say what I think you said? No. Hello, Shepard. You might want to check in on Commander Williams down on the observation deck. The Allied Primes are relaying any hostile combat data they can decrypt. I never thought I'd be linking Geth into the system. Commander? So, Prothean, huh? Yes. You guys like to drink, booze it up? No. Okay. What about gambling? Play cards? Games of chance were punishable by death in the Empire. Oh, sure, sure, that seems reasonable. Okay. So, smoking, you ever do that? Only when my armor became inflamed. Right, <laughs> yeah, smoking. I get it. So jokes then. You got jokes. All right. You got any good ones? No. Yes. Give them to me. The Tulomorian spy entered the enemy's camp and said to the Vanksher, I didn't know your barnaps could glow. Um... That was the joke. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. That was a good one. No, it wasn't. I just made it up. The joke is now on you, human. You will believe anything. <laughs> hey, Commander. James, what are you up to? A little cooking. Hope you don't mind. I was craving some of my Abuelas Huevos Rancheros. I'm not sure what kind of eggs these are, but they seem to work. Oh, if you see Ash anywhere, tell her I'll save her some. I'm thinking she might need a little nourishment after last night. What happened last night? Yeah, we just needed to unwind a bit. She's a fun girl when she actually lets her hair down for a minute. Uh-huh. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm! Not as good as my abuelas, but best thing I've had since I got on board. And maybe it's best I don't know what kind of eggs these are, no? Hey, Commander. Hey, Commander. You took a great risk in allowing a machine access to your mind, Commander. What if they had infected you? I do not think this James soldier understands me. None of these cycles seem to understand me, and I do not care. 
Not at this time. Not at this time. This platform can be of some assistance, Garrus Vakarian. I appreciate the offer, Legion, but this is something I know a thing or two about. Telemetry data indicates the calibration of Normandy's weapon accuracy can be improved by 0.32%. That's all? You can't squeeze 0.34% out of it? Negative. That threshold is not possible. You sure? Take a look now. Scanning. Normandy's weapon systems have been improved by a margin of 0.43%. How did you accomplish this? A little secret we organics like to keep. Always hold some back for emergencies. Is our current situation an emergency? A geth meddling with our computers, telling me how to do my job? No, I can't imagine that would qualify. So, a virtual geth reality, huh, Shepard? There are a lot of ways I can think of getting a few kicks in this universe. That's not one of them. I had hoped the Geth would have analyzed any Prothean technology they came across. You're saying you found none? No. On this topic, our knowledge is not significantly greater than your own. That's too bad, but thank you for looking. Shepard Commander placed faith in us. We will do the same for Normandy. You mean the Normandy's crew? We do not see a meaningful distinction. Hello again. Hello again. Shepard, remember our agreement? We'd open a bottle of Cerise Ice Brandy every year, and it's my turn to buy. But it hasn't been a year yet. Yes, well, something tells me we won't have the chance a few months from now, so... indulge my impatience. You grab the glasses. I'll open the bottle. And Jeff says, Jack, Jacqueline, subject zero, is sorry, but it's man to me. I'd like to keep my Admiral Winky. Oh, Shepard, you know, I just realized. You've never called me by my first name. Well, neither of you. And I never will. You are Commander Shepard, hero of the Citadel, conqueror of the Collectors, savior of the galaxy. Using your first name just disrespects everyone you're fighting for, alive or gone. <laughs> that makes no sense. Consider it a lady's prerogative, then. Come, let's have a toast. To a woman I respect and admire. I'm lucky to have you with me, Doctor. And to you. It's my great honor to share this journey with you, Commander. And good fortune to us all. I've learned my lesson this time. Even a Krogan couldn't match you drink for drink. Nothing to report. Vega's got some eggs ready for you. Oh. Oh. What have we here? Oh, sir. I'm off duty. Your voice? Sir, not so loud. Please, thank you. I'm thinking a no on the eggs. Oh. Why are you curled up on the floor? Am I? Oh, my head. So heavy. Can't move. Ah. 
Enjoy your evening. I'll be back to work in 30. Maybe 40. I swear. Just give me 45 minutes. Shh. How did you end up in this sorry state? Just wanted to let off some steam. Vega said he had just the thing to take my mind off stuff. And did that thing come in a bottle? Yes. This empty bottle? It's empty. Oh boy. You know, I think it might be time to test the fire alarm. I'll pay you a million credits not to do that, sir. Two million, and we have a deal. <sighs> You're a damn space pirate. I could order Joker to sing to you over the comm. I hate you. I hate you... Sir. As you were, Williams. Mmm. Cold floor. Oh, oh. Hey, Commander. Second Star Broadcasting is headhunting me. I liked their Garvuk story, but seriously, I'm on the Normandy. Hey, Commander.
commander.